Well, hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, this episode will be about uh, gear stuff, uh, stuff that I use, uh, some DIYs, and yeah, you'll see. Join me. So, uh, going out in the forest or wherever I am uh, taking photos of wildlife, uh, over the years I have learned to appreciate some stuff more than others. And maybe it isn't the kind of stuff that you have. So I thought I might introduce you to them. And if you find them uh, good, then why not use them and buy them? Uh, this episode isn't sponsored by any way, unfortunately. So, but uh, I bought everything my own money and uh, on my own recommendations. So the first one is for the lenses. Uh, using a big telephoto lens like the 500 or 600 you will get a very big and bulky lens hood and that doesn't work for me. It's, uh, it's bulky, it's heavy, it's, uh, some, it's expensive so if you smash it you will definitely put out some money there. And if you travel, uh, you have to check it in your uh, luggage. So instead, I use a uh, soft one, like this. It's a lens coat uh, story that you wrap around the lens. And I use it in conjunction with the, this hood that I take off. So this is a neoprene and it's uh, soft, but it has a, a rigid filling here. So uh, that will protect the lens when you're traveling. And also when I'm not, when I'm on location, I can just pull this out and it works fine for me. Big difference here is that they doesn't weigh that much and you can actually take this apart like so. And fold it in your bag. This is a very useful thing I learned. And uh, you can easily put this in your pocket, in your jacket, somewhere when you don't use it. I, I have put a ring on it, <laughs> put a ring on it. Uh, because when I was up in Norway, I put it on the deck of the boat and it uh, flew off, it blew off and ended up in the water. So now I can secure it if I want to. That's the first thing, and I really like this one. And of course, I use them in camel. They are, of course, in other colors as well. Uh, on the inside, it has a ridge, two ridges that secures on the lens. So it won't, if you tighten off hard, it will uh, stay there in place. I use uh, a little bit uh, soft and tighten so I can pull it back and forth, as you saw. So that was the first thing. Very useful. The second one is if you're having a, some slightly bad eyesight, so you need glasses when you read. Uh, then you know it's the fiddly things of looking to the screen every time to see something. And uh, I saw one uh, guy once, he had a thing hanging uh, on his tripod and it was this one. It was the hood loop. It has uh, you can actually adjust the strength so it will fit for your eye and it comes with a neck strap so you can have it hanging around your neck and uh, if when you want to use it you just put it on the camera and look and that is much easier than picking up glasses and try to fill them on place and if I drop it like this it won't break so this was a huge uh, difference when I bought this uh, didn't have to use the, uh, my glasses all the time. But even more useful is when you use it in conjunction with this one. I have had some comments wondering what this is. And uh, this is the hood loop crane. And uh, you put the hood loop in here like that. And you attach this to your camera. And i show you in a minute. And what the, that enables you to do is that you can have it centered on your display and when you don't want it there you just pull it up and it's out of the way and you can always swing it around so it's completely out of the way. So that is very effective uh, I think. I don't use this so much anymore 
because on the R6 I have the menus and the previews and everything in the viewfinder so I don't need actually I actually don't need glasses uh, out shooting uh, but I have discovered that when I'm uh, laying down low on the ground and want to see on the uh, display my glasses are put on a certain distance so if I get closer I won't see the details and here is the thing if you're laying down and wanted to watch the display you probably would need this put on the display and you can stay real close and uh, see the details I haven't found a way yet to uh, attach this in a secure way to a display and I think it could actually be a little bit too heavy for this way but um, I'm working on that see if it progresses later on next up is something that's useful if you have a camera that uh, uses up a lot of battery juice uh, the previous cameras I had the 1D Mark III no the 1D Mark IV and uh, so on I could have a battery in there for days and it, it seemed never to run off but as soon as I started with the 5D Mark IV and now the R6 they are eating batteries and being out on location and the battery drain I realized that I have to buy a loader uh, not a loader uh, a charger uh, that is connected via USB so I can uh, charge it in the car it can convert in the car but that also takes more energy off the battery in the car so USB perfect and uh, I feel safe when I have this around and also I bought a similar thing to uh, connect to my computer so I can run it off the 12 volt uh, battery from the car very useful uh, next up is uh, this flap you might have seen this on uh, some of my videos and uh, this is actually a pad to when I'm carrying the tripod on my shoulder there are lots of things uh, lots of uh, pads on the internet or in shops that you put on the legs here but I found out that if you have your shoulder here and you have a heavy tripod uh, a heavy lens up here the balance is uh, wrong so you need to have the shoulder as close to the uh, telephoto lens or the camera equipment as possible so this does that light the camera I can have it like this if it's heavier I can just fold it up that and keep it there very inexpensive thing that you can do yourself in this case in this tripod I have to uh, that it has a removable center column I just punched a hole and it's uh, locked there kept holding place by the center column but on my other tripods I have a uh, tied a uh, string that I can uh, tie around the uh, tripod and it works brilliantly so that's that and uh, other protection is <coughs> this thing you might have seen in some uh, videos it's an uh, I bought this in the 80s some of you might not even be born by then but uh, it was uh, produced uh, in to use uh, when skiing how's that well going downhill uh, you often take breaks and uh, yeah you're out all day because you have this big bulky shoes and all that so what this is is a seat so this strap goes around the thighs and this goes around the waist and uh, when you don't want to use it you just fold it back like that and uh, uh, the thigh uh, band is now around the waist and it folds in behind your jacket so the jacket will go here very convenient uh, it, if you have a, a separate uh, foam to sit on and you, you get up it might blow away this will stay with you all the time uh, I don't think it's available in shops but I've seen there are similar out on the internet right now and I found them very useful another useful thing is uh, these pouches I have here and uh, try to arrange them so you can see what it is you know when you're carrying a backpack 
and you want to have something in the backpack and uh, you just have to stop you have to take it off open it and pull it out and uh, i found that a bit annoying i don't like carrying backpacks by that for that reason and i found this it's an american uh, us made uh, device it has two pockets they go on the front and you have this shoulder straps and that makes it and that makes you uh, have pockets in front of you and I can actually put uh, 100 to 400 in here or equivalent I can put uh, some uh, water bottles I even can put this brown jacket in here if I want to and it has some small pockets for my binoculars or similar things really nice and I actually don't use it in the front if we have a look You can see there are two zippers there that you can uh, tie them together like that but I use them uh, on the sides so that makes it easy to uh, reach and if I lay down I won't lay on the pockets uh, they are laying beside me they are actually uh, kind of waterproof the fabric has a, a lining on the inside that makes it quite waterproof but it will get wet if it rains too much uh, very useful uh, called ribs I think US company another useful thing is <coughs> this buff I really love this piece of cloth uh, I usually don't have a problem with mosquitoes and uh, such but uh, Having this is my pocket, and you have seen it in several videos, probably. Uh, it's a very versatile piece of cloth. You can make it like a hat, uh, not a hat, but a, a, a cap. Have it around your neck and put it up over your face. And it takes no space, and I have several of these uh, in different uh, trousers and jackets, because I know that uh, they are very good. Another uh, scarf that I bought is this one. I found out that this is a very easy camouflage uh, thing. It isn't as bulky as uh, a big uh, camo net or using a yearly suit or something, but it is actually very good of taking away the, the silhouette. And also you can see, I have my hands here behind. It really darkens what happens inside. So it's a very easy way to uh, throw over your camera or over your head or shoulder uh, when out uh, so I use this a lot and th this one has two sides so I, I can choose which kind of color I want and also of course it can use this as a scarf uh, it's quite big and it's quite warm because of all it, lots of air in it so recommending that so what's next uh, next up and uh, I think the last thing, yes, the last thing is uh, camera straps. Yes, I know you have a camera strap. Uh, I started out uh, realizing that I wanted a camera strap that I could move from the lens to the camera and take it off from the camera when I had it in tripod. So I found this one that has uh, uh, clips, what do you call them? Yeah, clips on these sides and you have the receiving end attached to the camera and uh, I, I found that very useful I don't want to have a strap dingling hanging around on the camera when it's on the tripod it will get stuck and suddenly you will do some stupid things like flipping over the tripod or something like that I don't use this so much anymore because I have made an own strap it looks like an ordinary strap but uh, if you're carrying a big lens like this one, I also have a, a quick plate attached here, so I cannot actually attach uh, a camera strap here. There are some uh, brands that do that. You put in screw in and then you have a, a strap. I want to go from uh, scrapless, strapless uh, with the plate to carrying it in on a strap. So I found out a way doing that so I made up uh, made made this 
it is a, a rifle i don't know what you call it shoulder pad carrying rifle in that i bought a separate uh, nylon band that i have attached in a figure eight like this and it's keep separate by two plastic pieces and i have one here that allows me to get a grip and what this does it works like a, a boa constrictor so i put it on like that and just tie it up and now i can carry the lens and you can see the lens hangs in a horizontal way if you use the yeah over here somewhere the lens uh, mountings for straps it will carry like this whoops and uh, i found this a very very uh, easy way to carry my uh, lens i can swing it on my back so it uh, hangs on my back and uh, i have used a secondary strap attached to my belt from one side coming up and clipping on here and it will stay on my back when i'm riding a bike or something like that and i also made it adjustable so i can tighten it however uh, however this uh, has some uh, there's some risk involved in this of course you need to have a plate up here if you don't have a plate it could slip right off so the plate actually makes it stop here it will stop there. it won't go over and you make sure that it's tightened and of course if you do one of these uh, you do it on your own risk i will not uh, pay with any damages or anything like that very useful as well so that was uh, at least 10 stuff that i uh, bought that uh, bought or made or uh, use uh, that makes my life as a wildlife photographer easier and i hope uh, you enjoy this i uh, hopefully it's short video and um, if you like it give a comment uh, if you have any requests or uh, uh, want to comment the stuff here uh, please do so uh, as i said i'm not sponsored so i don't give out any brand names i think you i i told you ribs but yeah uh, so i'm not affiliated with anyone so that's a wrap. See you in the next one. Bye.